we are investigating the basic principles of early development. And one of them is that the placenta and the uterus are here to take care of the embryo. However, it turns out that at the very beginning of life, it's the opposite. It's the embryo that is in the driver's seat. It has the power to instruct the future placenta and the womb to support its blooming. We have formed blastoids as an in vitro model of the early embryo formed by a spontaneous organization of stem cells all in a dish. And uh, using this model, we showed that the, the future embryo, which at that time contains only 10 cells, sends molecular signals to the future placenta, about 100 cells, so it can grow, take shape, and become competent for nesting into the uterus. By doing this, the embryo invests in its own future. It promotes the development of the tissues that soon are going to take care of its development. We discovered a combination of molecules that are being secreted by the inner cells of the embryo, the cells that will eventually become the fetus. We found that these molecules instruct the outer cells, the cell type that would later form the placenta, and allow them to maintain high self-renewal and proliferation. These properties are essential not only for the growth of the placenta, but also for the implantation of the embryo into the uterus. Specifically, we found that the inner cells are instructing the outer ones to produce two molecules, WINT6 and WINT7B. And these two molecules instruct the uterus to prepare for successful implantation by forming a cocoon enveloping the embryos. The relevance is especially high because these two molecules are also expressed in the same cell type in real human embryos. Understanding these basic principles should ultimately help empower women to get a better grip on their own fertility. This should not only help to improve family planning, but ultimately also gender equality in society.